Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to calculate a rate. And uh, before going for calculation, let's talk about the different argument for this formula rate. The very first one is NPER. You can see we have got total six arguments. Three of them are compulsory argument and these three are optional argument. These square brackets represent that these arguments are optional. And by default, they have got some value. So the very first one is NPER and this is total number of payments period. Now for example, if you are planning to take a loan of let us say 5 year and you are willing to pay the EMI monthly. So in a way, in a year you are going to pay 12 times and in a span of 5 years you are going to pay 60 times. So NPER in that case will be 60. The second one is PMT. PMT is the payment made each period. For example, if you're planning to take some loan, then of course you'll have to give some certain EMI. So that value is what we call PMT. PV is the present value or the total value of all loan payments now, the one you are going to borrow. FV, this is an optional argument and you can see the default value is zero. And this is the desired cash balance after last payment. So if it is zero, that means after your payment, you don't uh, you don't have to give any money to the bank or neither the bank is going to give you some money okay so the balance is going to be zero that is what we mean by future value and if you write certain value that will be the balance left either by you or by the bank at the end of the uh, last payment type is there are two values of this type which can be there zero and one zero means that you are going to pay your uh, EMI at the end of each period or at the la end of the month in a way if you are going to take EMI and one refers when you are going to make your payment at the beginning of the month. Guess is basically since you are going to calculate a rate and uh, Excel doesn't know any initial value so you have to provide some guess and this is optional if you do not provide any guess the default value will be considered as 10 percent if you have uh, studied numerical method there is a term called interpolation and in, inter in interpolation we start with certain value and that is exactly what we mean by guess even if you don't give any guess the default is going to be considered as 10 so in the background it will take a certain value to start calculating the rate and as I said, this rate formula returns the interest rate per period. So if this NPER is given in months, that means interest rate will be given in month. And if you want to calculate that rate in annual term, then you'll have to multiply that interest rate by 12. So let's take an example. In this case, you can see I'm planning to take a loan home loan of 1 lakh 50,000, sorry, 15 lakh and I'm trying to take this loan for 180 months okay so the term in month is given as 180 that means it is 15 years now from my salary the maximum payment that I can afford each month is 15,000 and this minus sign represents basically that I'm going to make the payment so it will be deducted from my account and this is the amount I'm trying to take and this is a positive one because this will be debit to my account the future value is going to be zero. That simply means once I'll pay the 180th uh, EMI, there will be no balance left either with me or either with the bank. Okay. And the type is going to be zero. So I'm assuming that I'm going to make the uh, payment at the end of each period. And my initial guess is going to be 5%. Now, I know my capability to pay an EMI is 15,000 per month. So before going to bank, I would like to analyze that at what rate if I'm getting home loan, that will be sufficient for me. So for example, if I'll take uh, some bank is offering the home loan on 10%, of course the EMI will be something else. If someone is going to offer five per, uh, home loan on 5%, then of course the EMI will be different. So if I know my capability, I can calculate the interest rate beforehand, before approaching the bank, so that if they will tell me the interest rate number, I'll be able to see whether the EMI is going to fall behind that 15,000 or beyond that 15,000, okay? So 
just have a look how we calculate this so you have to go in the cell wherever you want to put that interested and all you have to do is type equal to rate tab NPR NPR is going to be 180 and you can see NPR is in month comma payment this one C4 then we have present value which is this one then we have future value which is this one comma type is going to be 0 comma guess is going to be 5 and I'm going to close this bracket and let me tell you one thing very clearly these three values C5, C6, C7 that means future value type and guess even if you do not type these you will get the same answer okay so I prefer to write this so that I can write some value here and I can see how it reflects here so I prefer to keep this way so let me press enter and it is 0.73 percent now let me tell you this is not annual interest rate this is monthly interest rate because NPER was given in month so to convert this interest rate into annual all I have to do is I have to multiply this formula by 12 and that is going to be translated to 8.76 percent now that simply means if some bank is going to offer me the home loan any interest rate beyond this number that simply means EMI will go beyond 15,000 as well but if some bank is going to give me the same loan on interest rate below this number then EMI will be below 15,000 and I am good to go with that one okay so that is where it comes very handy now as I was saying that these three number doesn't make any impact because they are optional even if I will delete this I'll get the same result so let's have a look I'm going to delete this press enter and you can see the result is still same now even if I'll keep this and make this guess 2% it will not make any change it can speed up the calculation how Excel comes to that result that guess may have some impact over there okay otherwise it has no impact so that's all from this tutorial video if you hit the like the content feel free to hit the like button and if you have any query feel free to post your query as comment i'll make sure to answer that as soon as i'll be online next time thank you